For business jets traveling to and from Dubai, congestion at Dubai International Airport frequently means that it is hard to be assured of getting a landing or takeoff slot. Some Dubai FBOs, such as ExecuJet and JetX, have open locations at the new Al Maktoum International Airport, which is located away from the city center and offers a far less congested alternative at the vast Dubai World Central site. Gamma Aviation believes that it offers a unique alternative with its FBO in Sharjah, which is just over the border from Dubai. Now the UK-based company is planning a major expansion of the facility, and this is due to open mid-2018. Sharjah International Airport is literally 15 kilometers from Dubai International Airport. But the big disadvantage with DWC is, is it's a very long way from the uh, main center of Dubai. Whereas if you take, for example, the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, very well-known landmark, that is 30 minutes from Sharjah Airport, whereas it's closer to 50 minutes from DWC. So from a practical perspective, once landed, you, you get there much more quickly. But also, when you're in the air, there are no slot restrictions coming into Sharjah International Airport. It has separate airspace to Dubai. We have a relatively large facility at Sharjah at the moment, but it's, it's spaced out. It's not integrated into one capability. But we see that we're beginning to creak at the seams slightly there in terms of capacity. And we're effectively building a mini airport, apart from uh, the runway, the tower and the fire service, which we share with the rest of the airport. But we're building all the component parts of an airport in miniature purely for business aviation. The Sharjah expansion is part of a focused plan to expand both the geographical reach of Gamma Aviation and its ability to provide a full array of services to business aviation clients. In terms of our global ambitions, really, you can look at it as, as Sharjah is just a a small you know, view of that or vice versa, but, but essentially what we're looking to do is grow our business using that kind of infrastructure and that model and that diversity of business. We're trying to grow it in a very fragmented marketplace uh, and we're trying to grow it on a global basis. And that involves us going into new territories and new regions. It involves us increasing our service offerings within those regions that we're already in and broadening the service offering, uh, increasing the scale, increasing the depth of a capability and the service offering. Um, and really just trying to position ourselves where we are a truly global, integrated you know, business aviation service provider. I think our market is you know, when you look at other industries, it's, it's fairly unique in not having any kind of single large players within it with substantial market shares. I mean, I think, I think there are statistics out there that would suggest that even the top five players in any region or any, um, you know, on a worldwide basis still don't account for more than, you know, single digit share of the market. Uh, and that's unusual when you look at shipping or supermarkets or any other kind of business or trade. You know, compliance is becoming more expensive. I think scale does matter and the economies that we can derive from there are a differentiator. The challenge for leading business aviation services groups like Gamma is to ensure that they don't lose the strong personal connection with customers while striving for stronger market share by expanding the scale of their operations.